Norm, there's a commonality to the objects on this desk. Yes, they are one. Lego of some form, of some Lego, scale. So we have a Lego weaponry. Um, two of my favorite pieces, my aluminum oh. Lego lightsaber wow. and Lego Batarang. That is so cool. I know, isn't that incredible? <laughs> blown up. I know. First try. Uh, and then we have the laser phaser made yes. by our friend. Tommy Williamson, yep. brick nerd. Um, uh, and you have a Lego lightsaber. A Lego lightsaber. I think I got that on eBay or Etsy a couple of years ago. I can't quite remember. I'm sorry I don't remember the maker. I'm sure people will instruct me as to who built this, but it's Luke's lightsaber uh, from Empire. Yeah. Is it lovely? Yes. Yeah. Yes, very pretty. And that means we're going to complete a set today we with are. another custom Lego build. Yep. And uh, I bought two of these, one for you and one for me. We are yes. going to build the Lego version of Han Solo's iconic New Hope Blaster, the DL44. Is this the New Hope Blaster or is this is definitely New Hope Blaster. Okay, yes, cool. absolutely. Just, I don't no, want to get not, this wrong. Not ESB. That one's more <laughs> silvery. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so we are going to build the Lego version of this. This is built um, by Adam Gladwin, who I bought this from on Etsy. He goes by the name... Demon Hunter Bricks. Demon Hunter Bricks. Yep. Um, and again, Etsy and eBay are fantastic for buying custom Lego builds. Um, they put it together in a bag like this and then send you uh, a, a, a PDF instructions built on Lego Designer, right? Yes, exactly. It's a digital app. They are designing it there. But it's, a, it's, it's not easy for them to actually accumulate all the pieces. Not because you can't source them. You that, only very few uh, certified Lego purchasers can buy them directly from Lego. Yeah. These are all traded from different sets. And it, it, I, I can't gush enough about how great Etsy is as a resource. A few years ago, for one of our anniversaries, I commissioned a Lego model of the house we live in here in the right. Mission. Uh, and it was it was not crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. They worked with me. They sent me designs of the interim build, and then it, it sits in our bedroom. This magnificent oh. little Lego model of our house. Ooh. So the first step to building, of course, is yeah. we're gonna be knolling. We got right? a knoll. We've each got uh, you got a, a, a tablet, and I've got my computer with our instructions. So let's clear away this stuff and start knolling. All right, there we, we go. go. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I hope I didn't lose anything there. <laughs> so unlike a normal Lego kit, these aren't separated into bags for your <laughs> I convenience. I was gonna say the exact same thing. Yeah, uh, and this set, it's mostly like black pieces. So it's kind of like buying a Lego Batman set where everything is black pieces, mixed knolling. Really interesting. Yeah, I, Noling's going to take a couple of stages here while we, while we uh, just figure out what the lay of the land is. You know, I'm going to avert my eyes and not look at how you're Noling, so I can do a little comparison and just, it's. I think Nol, the way you Noling is probably representative of how you think <laughs> spatially. I think you're probably right. Just looking at the general shapes, mm -hmm. I can already somewhat identify what things are supposed to be, what, oh. what things are the barrels of, I mean, mm -hmm. there, there are only so many colors in the, you know, what, what's the grip, all the brown pieces, definitely gonna be parts of the grip. This set, I believe, is a 425 pieces. Oh, you did your research, didn't you? It was on page one of the instructions. <laughs> You know, this type of Lego design, it's, it's sculptural, right? It's not a, it's, it's not a play set. It's not, um, it's not a, a vehicle. It, it is a hand prop, mm -hmm. uh, which I think presents its own challenges in terms of how they designed it because it needs to be uh, scaled for human scale when the building blocks are minifig scale. And so how they get complex curves mm -hmm. with Lego yeah, it's, it's, compound curves in Lego and the engineering of that. I mean, doing that Millennium Falcon built was lovely for seeing how they engineered. And also, um, actually, frankly, the uh, uh, 
Yellow Saturn submarine? Saturn V. Oh, Saturn V, yes. So, I mean, there's also, like you were saying, there's two aspects to this. One is the actual build, but the other is the engineering of the build. And that's where, you know, I think Lego designers are, are, are incredible, but also the, the, the private builders come up with their own amazing solutions and push this whole art forward. All right, Whew. let's check in. Let's check in. Okay, that Nolan was about 20 down. solid minutes of gnawing. Yes, now I'm looking at yours. Ah, oh, I think we had similar ideas. <laughs> yes, there goes the dividing <laughs> line right there. Your, oh, I can tell by your bigger build area, you're tighter in your gnawing. Um, I will say that I went from like long pieces yeah, to yeah. like shorter pieces. Yeah, I did the same thing, except it started here and went down and with a concentration of rounds on the side. Yes, anything with a curve. Oh, you went round. stackable. I did. Fascinating. Um, and I, I did exactly what you mentioned, where anything with a curved edge, I yes. put on one side. And then also divided by color a little bit, um, just for spatial. Blues, yep. clears. Oh, and I, I'm actually not done. Oh, why, <laughs> how did this little stack <laughs> elude me? Oh my goodness. Now, unfortunately, this is not a set that I believe you can follow along with because many times when people on Etsy sell their kits, they, the build instructions are part of the they sale. Email, yes. They send them to you because that's their, their, their design um, in addition to the pieces. Uh, let's see if you can reverse engineer it as you watch along. <laughs> Adam, are you ready to start assembly? Let's do it. All right, hands up. This is like built. Hands up. <laughs> Begin. Go. You know, the cool thing is it, it does feel like you're assembling some kind of mechanical apparatus, you know, whether it's a science fiction blaster or something that feels like, it feels more than just Lego assembly. It does. This is true. Um, and it, there's some satisfaction in that. Like, oh, I'm putting the scope together. This is a step that I actually have to put this in here. And then squeeze them together? Uh-huh. At that point, uh -huh. really? <laughs> Those go like this. Wow. This is, I mean, you know, hats off to the engineering here because it's a pain in the butt. And, you know, he's dealing with all of these compound curves. <sighs> Let's see now. Things are starting to happen. But, no, it's just telling me to hold these things in orientation. <laughs> I'm not attaching anything yet. Oh, the satisfaction or lack thereof is killing me. Oh, I have so full weird. confidence that at some point, one of us is going to mess up. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. so here's the thing. Um, you are in better stead than I am. These have to be exactly, you have to pull that apart. I did, yeah. Pulled because even that, yeah, more. Even so more that that, so, yeah. And then that, you can see, slips, slips right, right into the middle <laughs> there. Enjoy that one. <laughs> Woo. All right. So uh -huh. take a look at this. This is, this is a lot of engineering. There's a lot of faces moving this way, that way, that way. And all of it's got to be held together. It is, uh, is non-trivial. All right. So then... That was a lot of work. <laughs> I think it's time for a sandwich.
Norm. Here we are. Dude. Dual DL44s. <laughs> wow. That is, I'm very satisfied with the end product. It, um, it, it, I know all Lego builds are, are delicate, but it feels pretty solid to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it doesn't rattle, and I really appreciate that. Holy hell, what a difficult build. <laughs> it was, and that's a testament to the fact that, you know, we're used to how easy and straightforward Lego official yeah. builds are because they product test, they have, you know, they're the IKEA of, of model building, and the fan build, it's tough to be a Lego designer. It is tough to be a Lego designer. Also, I fully acknowledge that, you know, he put this together and then he wanted to sell it as a kit. And then it's not like he's gonna spend a month testing out these instructions on a bunch of different people. Lego right. builders, you know, we did eventually figure this out. We did. Um, and by reading some of the instructions, yes. because his instructions were not in order and there was an email that covered that and I yep. missed that. So really, a lot of it's my bad, but, um, it, Yes, the respect for Lego's incredible ease with which those instructions explain how to make these super complex things is amazing. And at the same time, you'll never find something like this as an official Lego set because they break all sorts of rules in terms of the angles, the combination of the techniques. I love that the handle is at this angle because it's hooked in in a certain way. Right. And uh, and, and like just the cleverness, like being very familiar yeah. with how the DL44 replicas are put together. Exactly. There is, there's a, there's a lot of fine detail here. Exactly. And they spent a, he spent a lot of time really making sure that he got the detail correct. Everything, yeah, it's really, there is not a major piece of this that isn't called out. Maybe the nut at the underside <laughs> of the flash hide. We're not going to super glue that. No super glue. There but uh, for the grace. A fine display model. Mm -hmm. Nice stand, but also totally, this is why I love Lego hand props, right? You don't have to handle Lego usually. <laughs> usually it's like a yeah. play set or a model sits on the totally shelf. Right. Yeah. To handle it actually feels really nice. Does the, oh, the trigger does the hammer. I forgot. <laughs> I actually pulled it off. There we go. Very fragile. Awesome. A lovely one day build, sir. Well done. How long and do we need the, oh. the, 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 the Lego hand solo belt. Yes, exactly. Yeah, all we need, we need the, the droid controllers, all sorts. Yeah. Well, I know people out there, you guys have designed your own custom creations yep. and some of you have actually reached out, are willing to share some of the designs or make your own kits. We'd love to hear from more of you. If you run your own Etsy shop, totally. if you're totally in the Lego MOC community, uh, please share those ideas with us and we'll build them in the future. Absolutely, see you on the next build.